fellow readers. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a series that I've admitted to loving and for some reason just never got around to reviewing <laughs> the volumes of, and that's Hirano and Kagira. And this is volume one and two of the manga series. Uh, volume two was released fairly recently. I think volume three is on the way already, which I'm glad about. Um, this is much shorter than its uh, companion series, Sasaki and Miano. Uh, at least at this point, it's much shorter. And I think originally it wasn't going to be its own manga spin-off, but then it got a lot of fans. So there is the light novel version that um, really introduces the characters and how they met each other. That is a great companion to the series. But when this series kicks off, they are already schoolmates and roommates, and it's how their relationship as roommates is developing and progressing. I will read the back of volume one just to go over it. So Akira Kagira has decided. Oh, huh. wait a minute, that, that was volume one? Today. Okay. <laughs> You'll hear why I was shocked at that. <laughs> he will marry him. Taiga Hirano, roommate, and the most perfect man who has ever existed. After all, Hirano's bad boy vibe doesn't really matter when he acts so sweet. Like when he wakes Kagi up every morning or cheers him on when he's feeling down. So now there's only one thing left to do. Enact his grand plan and overcome the first hurdle, confessing his feelings. And again, this is from the creator of Sasaki and Miano. And... The story of Miano's bad boy senpai and his BL life with his roommate. So this is the roommate love story between Hirano and Kagira. And it, it jumps in more as uh, Kagi is starting to understand or I guess are starting to develop feelings or realize his feelings. Probably are always had them, but he's starting to realize his feelings for Hirano. And so it's it's really cute. You get immediately from volume one that they have a close relationship. He adores his senpai and <laughs> just thinks he's really cute and sweet. And from there, does decide that he wants to marry him. However, it actually takes some further development and character conversation and everything in order to realize that what he's feeling is a deeper love. Uh, and it, that's actually a really cute part of the whole story because, like, he he sees his parents' relationship and he adores their relationship. Like he thinks it's the proper relationship to have. It's the joking around with somebody, being really good friends with somebody, wanting to take care of somebody. And he realizes that he has that with Hirano. But in his conversations with a friend of theirs, because he's very open <laughs> about how he's feeling, with the friend of theirs, the friend asks him, is it just the companionship or does he have romantic feelings along with those feelings of wanting that companionship with Hirano and that close bond that they have? And so part of it is Kagiro's story of realizing, oh, he does have <laughs> those attraction romantic feelings, that it's not just their friendship bond. And then it's his quest to confess his feelings to Hirano, and then, and then, um, when he does have that confession, how will Hirano take it? And what are Hirano's feelings? Will he be able to accept any romantic feelings, or is it really just a friendship, and it will never go anywhere because? Hirano doesn't feel that way. Um, and that's that's the whole story. And uh, quite honestly, at this point, we don't know. Um, we can feel in a lot of ways 
that Hiramo is slowly opening up to feelings that might be there, but at the same time still very much says no. Uh, it, like More like he might love this person, but not in that romantic sense. Uh, <laughs> but there's little inklings of that maybe it isn't that simple. Maybe it's not just friendship that he's feeling. Maybe there are deeper romantic feelings. And that's that's the whole plot of Hirano and Kagira. It's basically a slice of life love story. Um, we follow very cute little vignettes um, with the two, how they're interacting in school. And it basically follows the school years. We also get to a point where um, the two also have to accept the fact that in the next uh, year they might be separated. They might no longer be roommates and have that bond. And can they accept that? Um, the short answer is no. They can't. They can't accept that. <laughs> so um, they actually hatch like this plan in order to to find a way to stay roommates with one another. Not like a not like a nefarious plan or anything. It's just the way that um, one of the housing units. Uh, has to close and so normally the third years I think can get their own room but because the other housing unit has closed they're like well you know you could offer that some third years stay having a roommate and and then they're like well we'd be willing to do that conveniently we'd be willing to stay roommates it's just very cute it's just very cute this is one of those series much like uh, its companion series, Sasaki and Miano, that's just warm. It's just comforting. It's fluffy. Uh, you don't have to overthink. There's no heavy drama. There's not even really like um, like rivals in love or anything. It's just a very simple development of feelings kind of story. It's light. It's fluffy. It's comfy. You can sit there on a cold or rainy day and just like read it and you just feel light and and happy and and floaty <laughs> it's just a very sweet sweet story that um honestly i think i like hirano and kagira a little bit more only because there's not like the slapstick fudanshi aspect um that and I, I know I say that like I love Sasaki and Miano. Don't get me wrong. I loved the manga. I love the anime. I think it's really sweet. But sometimes <laughs> Miano could be a little much for me with his like shipping people and and everything. And I mean technically Hirano is one of those people that he ships and always wanted to see his roommate and how they like interact with each other. But that being said, I'd rather see this actual story and their relationship because neither one of them came from that background. Like, they weren't in the BL zone. They weren't thinking, you know, I'm going to fall in love with my roommate or anything. <laughs> they were just going to school. And, and Kagiara just so happened to fall in love with his roommate because he's a really sweet guy that made sure to take care of him. And is in general really nice. Like, uh, honestly, Hirano is just a nice person. Even though he bleaches his hair and has, like, piercings, he's just a really nice person and pretty smart, too. When he's on, like, the, I think it's the disciplinary committee, which is so funny. But he, like, won't, he won't uh, stay away from dyeing his hair and having his piercings. Hirano and Kagira is a beautiful slice of life story. I would recommend it to anybody that likes soft, cozy vibes and doesn't want too much drama too much anything just wants a soft like love story that's what you're going to get with this I, again not resolved yet but you know i got a feeling it's going to have a happy ending <laughs> that's it for this video until next time bye